The perfect baby airplane outfit doesn't exist. Oh wait. It does. Hi guys, my name is Brittany. I've taken a lot of flights, about 30 flights with my baby son, who's now a year and a half. And I thought I would make a video to help you out on how you should dress your baby on the airplane, because this is something that I've kind of perfected. I have what I call the perfect airplane outfit for babies, and that applies for babies from about newborns until they start crawling. And then since my toddler son started walking and has now become a toddler, I like to dress him a little bit differently on the plane, so we'll go over that as well. Every baby is different of course so you might want to vary this a little bit but I would say that there are absolutely about four things that you want to avoid that you don't want to dress your baby in no matter what on the airplane so I'll tell you what those are as well in this video. And no matter how you dress your baby remember to always bring at least two backup outfits for them and extra clothes for you as well. Just trust me on this put extra clothes in your carry-on bag for both you and your baby you just never know what's gonna happen in the middle of a flight. Please remember to give this video a like if it's helping you out. I make all kinds of videos on this channel about adventuring with a family, traveling with a family, and teaching your kids how to speak another language. If any of those things are interesting to you, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. What I've discovered is the perfect airplane outfit from about newborns until when they start crawling is to dress your baby in a comfortable onesie zip up, very important that it's a zipper, cotton or some other kind of breathable fabric, and footed, so some kind of footed PJ. I think sometimes parents for their baby's first flight tend to overcomplicate things a little bit. They want to put their baby in some kind of cute airplane outfit or something that um, is just not really practical for flying. Avoid that. Don't, don't do that if you can. <laughs> just put your baby in something simple that you know that they're already comfy in and that's going to do the trick just perfectly. This outfit will ensure that your baby is warm enough in those cool airplane cabins, but also that they don't overheat. Plus, one of the awesome things about being a baby is that you can wear your pajamas in public, so take advantage of this. Speaking from experience, I would definitely recommend avoiding separates, dressing your baby in separates, so things like separate pants, shirts, socks, because a grabby baby will pull these things off, especially socks and shoes. They get lost on your travel day, and then your baby's left with cold feet. I find personally that it's easiest to keep it simple with a onesie you have enough to worry about managing on your travel day than to worry about losing separates along the way please 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 save yourself tense mission impossible sweaty moments by not dressing your baby in snaps or buttons leave anything with snaps at home I feel like this is a good recommendation in all cases in life not just on the airplane but definitely for travel days leave snaps and buttons at home dress your baby in a onesie with a zipper zippers will be your best friend you're going to be doing changes in tight little bathrooms you're gonna have to be doing quick changes and you just want easy access to your baby's diaper bing bang boom get it over quickly avoid any kind of non breathable synthetic fabric such as polyester instead stick to fabrics that are natural and breathable like cotton bamboo linen jersey fabrics these are much better for regulating a baby's body temperature and will keep them nice and cozy on that ever-changing temperature between the airport and the airplane the first time I flew with my son we brought one of those thick bear suits for him to zip up into because I didn't want him to be too cold on the airplane but for us this turned out to be a complete waste of space babies overheat really easily so you don't need something really thick like this if it's really cold going to the airport sure maybe you want to dress them in that for the car but once you arrive at the airport you might want to just shove that into your checked luggage or at the bottom of your carry-on luggage because I found that it was really useless and kind of cumbersome and just took up space as we were navigating the airport and once we got on the plane we just needed that onesie on our baby and then we also had his blanket with us and that was plenty for keeping him warm. I would highly recommend bringing a baby blanket with you just because it's so versatile for keeping your baby warm during naps on the plane, um, an emergency changing pad, breastfeeding cover up. It's just a really great thing to have. Some extra baby clothing items that you should have in your carry-on are, like I said before, two extra outfits for your baby to wear, plus some kind of plastic bag or wet bag that you can put soiled clothes into in your carry-on bag. Just in case your baby has a blow-up or spits up on everything, you want to be able to 
put throw those clothes into a bag so that you can uh, wash them later bring a light cozy baby blanket and if your baby is just starting to walk or cruising just starting to push themselves up on things you might want to make sure that there's some tread on the bottom of your footy PJs so that they'll um, they won't slip as easily as they're sort of like navigating around the airport a little bit or you can um, opt for baby PJs that are not footy pajamas and put socks on their feet that have tread on the bottom. We've done this as well. What I've really loved at the airport when my baby was just getting out of that crawling phase into the standing phase, I guess we're going into toddler territory now, is I like to buy those, I have a couple pairs, I still have them, a couple pairs of those soft sort of faux leather booties that I would put on him. They have like elastic bands around the ankles and I found these were perfect for travel days because the airport is mostly carpeted, so it was great for walking at the airport. And then on the airplane, instead of having like clunky shoes on your lap as your baby is crawling all over you, you just have those soft, um, soft booties on their feet. So it makes it a little bit more comfortable for you. Also, if they're they tend to kick the seat in front of them, um, it's just with those soft little booties, so it's not as big of a deal. One of our pairs we've actually put on our son so much that the toes are starting to wear at the bottom so I think I'm gonna buy him another pair of these. For little little babies you might also want to bring a little cap for them um, if their heads tend to get cold. And then more recently as my one and a half year old son started walking and now is more of a toddler I still prefer to dress him in a pajama zip up onesie but sometimes I'll also dress him in separate um, soft pajama separates, so a shirt, a top, and pants, but I still think the classic onesie is simpler. I've also made a video for you mom, what you should wear on an airport day, on a travel day, so be sure to check that out as well. Let me know down in the comments how you dress your baby on the airplane. What do you think is the perfect baby or toddler airplane outfit? I would love to know what you think. Yay! <laughs> Yay!